hyponatremia. Hyponatremia is an important and common electrolyte abnormality that can be seen in isolated cases, but it most often is seen in cases of complication of other medical illnesses. It is defined as a serum sodium level drops down below 135 milliequivalent per liter and is considered very serious when the serum level drops below 125. Many medical illnesses such as uh, congestive heart failure, liver failure, renal failure, and even pneumonia uh, may be associated with hyponatremia. Here is a question uh, which uh, we, we can go through together actually and uh, the question asks uh, which of the following is true regarding hyponatremia. Um, so is, it, um, is hyponatremia more common in men? Is the reference range for serum sodium, the normal range is 145 to 155. Uh, is the serum sodium level less than 105 is considered, is associated with the mortal, mortality rate of greater than 50%. So basically saying if uh, the serum sodium level drops below 105, is it associated with the higher mortality? And the last one is uh, chronic hyponatremia can be safely corrected more quickly than uh, acute hyponatremia. So what do you guys think uh, the answer is? Um, all right, so let me give you the answer. The answer here is C, um, severe hyponatremia, which is uh, less than 125, has a high mortality rate. So in the question given, they said it's below 105. Of course, that's a severe hyponatremia. Um, there's no male or female gender uh, that is more common um, the normal sodium uh, reference range is uh, not 145 to 155, but it's 135 to 145. Um, so that's not the correct answer. And the last one is, um, uh, it says uh, chronic hyponatremia can be safely corrected more quickly than acute hyponatremia, which is a false statement. Uh, acute hyponatremia, which is duration less than 48 hours, can be safely corrected more quickly actually than a chronic hypo hyponatremia. Okay, let's move on to another simple question. Uh, this question asks, which of the following forms of hypotonic hyponatremia involves in clinically detectable edema or ascites that signifies an increase in total body water and sodium? Is it hypovolemic or hyper, hypervolemic or normovolemic hypotonic hyponatremia? The answer here is uh, B, hypervolemic. Of course, there's increase in uh, the volume. Uh, has hypervolemic, hypotonic, hyponatremia uh, is associated with edema or ascites. Um, and uh, this also um, signifies this increase in total body water and sodium. Examples include liver cirrhosis, congestive heart failure, nephrotic syndrome, and severe hyperproteinemia, uh, where the albumin uh, level is less than 1.25 to 2 grams per uh, deciliter. So let's move on to another question. Um, it says, um, and this is very important uh, in clinically, uh, if, when you have a patient with the hyponatremia, and uh, how fast or slow do you infuse, um, you know, do you make the correction? Uh, so the, the, the question reads, uh, to avoid osmo uh, osmotic uh, demyelination syndrome, which is ODS, in normal risk patients with chronic hyponatremia, which of the following is recommended, okay? Is it a minimum correction of two to three millimoles per liter per day, or minimum correction of four to eight, or a maximum correction of eight millimole liters in any 24 hour period, or maximum correction of 20 millimole per liter in any 48 hour uh, period? So, uh, what's the recommended uh, correction? Uh, here, the answer is uh, B. Uh, the, uh, the recommended uh, for a uh, normal risk patient with a chronic hyponatremia is minimum correction of 4 to 8 millimole li per liter per day, uh, where, which is the symptoms, ODS, right? What is um, uh, ODS is uh, uh, where you um, correct the sodium level in the patient very rapidly, and uh, that causes a neurological problem in the patient, and you want to avoid that. That's pretty high yield. Um, and you do that, recommended correction is minimum correction of 4 to 8 millimoles per liter per day, okay? Um, but the, for the patient who has a high risk of ODS, so this is for uh, the 4 to 8 is for um, normal um, risk patients, but for the high risk patient, uh, you just want to do a, um, a maximum correction of 8 millimoles 
per liter in any 24 hour period. So that's the maximum for high risk. You don't um, go beyond that if it's a high risk patient. And uh, for patient at normal risk for ODS, like I said, minimum is uh, four to eight, and the maximum is uh, 10 to 12 millimoles per liter in any 24 hour period and 18 millimole um, per liter in 48 hour period. So that's the maximum you can do for a normal risk. For the high risk, just maximum is only eight millimoles per liter. Okay, so let's uh, briefly uh, recap. So what is hyponatremia? Which is the, uh, hyponatremia is defined when the serum sodium level drops below 135 milli equivalents per liter. And this is important, it's considered severe when it is below 125. And uh, if a patient has uh, low sodium levels with uh, edema or ascites, it's uh, due to uh, hypervolemic, hypotonic, hyponatremia. The common examples of this include liver cirrhosis, congestive heart failure, nephrotic syndrome, and severe hyperproteinemia. ODS can happen when sodium levels are corrected uh, rapidly in a patient. Um, hence, uh, one should always follow the recommendation um, of the correction. Uh, which is uh, different for high-risk patient, normal-risk patients, which we went over. Um, so I hope this helps, and um, and uh, basically you should know the, the, the diseases associated with hyponatremia for the exams. Um, and like I said, edema or ascites, hypervolemic, hypo, hy hypotonic, uh, hyponatremia. That's another point you should remember. Of course, you should know the definition of when it is hyponatremia, 135 milliliters equivalent or less, um, and uh, what, when it is severe. Um, and uh, and what it, what happens when you correct it rapidly, which is uh, ODS, osmotic de demyelination syndrome, uh, which has neurological impact on a patient. Um, so I hope it helps, uh, and uh, thank you for joining.